guys, welcome to part 3 of the AI tutorial series. In this one, most people can skip it. I'm just going to be going over terrain and rigid bodies and gravity. So if you already know how to do all that, you're probably not going to need to watch the tutorial. and You'll probably skip it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much going to be going over how to create terrain and have the monster walk up and down the terrain. Since I had a comment in the last video about it, and I decided I should just make a tutorial about it since people are going to want to know how to do that. So right now we're just going, I'm just going to make something that I'm probably going to delete. I'm just going to create a train and I'll mark it with blue just so it's easier to find. And it's over there. And I'm going to be deleting this after the tutorial after the, this uh, tutorial, so um, I mean, when you guys build your terrain, you can build it around how you want your enemy to wander around, but yeah. So what we're going to do first is just lay down a basic uh, texture. So I'm just going to grab a random one, and that'll lay that down just so we can uh, see what we're doing. And you want to grab this tool, and now if you haven't used the terrain before, if you left click, it'll build a hill, or as long as you're holding it down. And um, if you hold shift down and you click, it'll lower it. So what we want to do is build up some kind of high hills. Um, we want to make sure that this is working correctly. So I'm just going to build around... Um, player here. Hopefully this will work. Um, might end up running into some issues with it climbing, but hopefully not. So I'm just going to smooth this out. So there's something, yep. So let's see here. Um, I'm just going to make some random hills over here in case the enemy does get out, see how far it walks or how it works in different uh, terrain. So yeah, um, that should be good for now since we're just testing it out. But yeah, so if you want to smooth out your train, you just select this tool and it'll blend everything together. You can adjust the different settings if you want. Um, that's for painting and whatnot, and some other features that I've gone over in other tutorials, but this is what we're going to be doing. And then um, the next thing you're going to want to do is click on your monster, go to physics, rigid body, and make sure gravity is checked, it should be, and then constraints. And I believe we can click these. Um, hopefully it doesn't upset the rotation for just normal rotating, I think this is just physics rotation. Um, but yeah, I guess we can uh, lift this up just a tiny bit, just to test it, and click play. Go over here, and you can see it walking up, and the gravity is a little bit uh, messed up as you can see. Um, it'll start floating in the air, so... Um, we would just have to apply more force uh, because it kind of looks like it, as it's falling in the air, it can change directions. So that's probably the issue the other person was having. They were talking about how it could change positions in the air. Um, mass set to 50. I don't know if it's going to change how fast it falls. It might. Um, Nope, it still floats, and then it falls to the ground slowly. I don't, I don't remember if I need to adjust settings in here, but I think what you guys might need to do, maybe someone can correct me on this if I'm wrong, um, I believe you have to apply force to the Y position, so the uh, the enemy, yeah, 
I think that's what you're going to have to do. Just apply a lot of force, uh, downward force, onto the, uh, the enemy. So it's constantly being pushed down to the ground. So when it walks over a hill, it's not going to walk and then go flying off into the distance. It'll stay stuck to the train as it follows it. Um, and I guess there's probably different settings so it doesn't walk up a mountain and stuff. It would kind of have to deal with the uh, character controller. I don't know if the character controller um, can be applied to this. Because I don't... Let's see here. Slope limits. Um, set this to 1. Let's see if it can't go up um, the hill if we mark that. Oh, but it can still... Oh. It's definitely got better control okay um, maybe not <laughs> it did kind of a bunny hop and flew <laughs> flew somewhere else so yeah I'm just guessing go into the code uh, for the actual enemy and apply downwards force if I I'll just leave this in here I guess for the next tutorial if I figure it out I will let you guys know and I guess uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'll try going over something else. If I do have a simple fix for it with the downward force, I'll announce it at the beginning of the next video and continue on to what we'll be learning next. So, yep, stay tuned, guys.